I'll be making a little waterfall here for my aquaponics tank. I'm uh, just going to use an old aquarium pump, a couple pieces of PVC pipe, and this is an old um, icing container with its lid to keep the pump in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is drill a couple holes in this icing container uh, to let water through while keeping the gravel out. The drill batter is dying, but I think that'll be enough. Next thing I'm going to do is drill a short, uh, saw a short piece off of this pipe, uh, about maybe three inches long, something like that, and that'll be the outlet valve for the waterfall. Okay, so I've got uh, this little piece that I already had, um, that's about an inch and a half long, and uh, this, which is three inches, I'm going to connect them. These are both uh, half inch PVC, and I've got a half inch elbow here, so I'm just going to push them in. You can use PVC glue, but it should stay pretty well by itself. And we have this. Now I'm going to take the lid of the icing container and trace a circle. Right in the middle of it. I'm going to use a knife, poke through that, and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. We get a nice round half inch diameter hole. And then stick the pipe through the hole. And that should be pretty solid like that. It doesn't need to be airtight or anything. And um, the elbow will keep it from dropping down any farther than you want. Another thing you want to do when you're cutting uh, PVC and plastic is take some sandpaper and clean off these edges. Because you're going to get you're gonna get those little pieces of shrapnel in your water. And that's not really the best thing in the world for the fish. So you sand it down smooth. And do that for both of them. And you could probably do the same thing for the holes you drilled in this too. Okay, now we've got our um, can never say it, icing container, and we're gonna stick the pump straight down into it. With, you know, two hands. Now we're going to take this now we're going to take the lid of this and figure out where to cut the hose. You want it to go through the curve and then into this downward side. So maybe that's about good right there. If you're having trouble getting the hose to go through the elbow, uh, sort of disassemble it, push the smaller piece on first, and then push the elbow, push it through the elbow. So I'm going to put this on first, and then push it through the elbow. step before you actually put it in, uh, cut a little notch on the edge of the, on the rim of the lid so that you can run the cable back up through it. Uh, one reason it pays to measure and really think about this before you do it, um, with the pump in here, this pipe doesn't come straight up the middle, so that center hole was kind of useless, and I had to cut it out an extra piece just to bring it to the side, um, but other than that, that's how it's going to look. Let's test it out. Before I mess around with all the gravel and putting it right into the fish tank, I want to actually make sure it works. Um, so I've got it in a bowl of water here, and I'm just going to plug in the pump. And there we go. Okay, and there it is, running beautifully.
aerating that water, putting some oxygen back into it, giving this fish uh, the time of his life. Now, every time you mess around with this, I hate this setup, and I don't know if it's actually worth it in the long run, but every time you mess around with anything in the gravel, since this water is filled, uh, cycling through the system, the tank gets cloudy for a little while until it settles out again. So this guy's dealing with some sediment at the moment, and hopefully it won't kill him.